You hate ads, I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this channel ad-free. Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike, and today we are taking a look at some of my favorite inks where I look through my Colodexes, of which I have a few, and I try to pick out like the top five inks in a particular color family, and today we are talking black inks. I will admit there are going to be a couple of honorable mentions at the end, so it's going to be, you know, five plus a couple, but you know, I've got reasons. So uh, watch and uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. Hit that like button if you like this video, and go ahead and subscribe because you know it's going to be good, and you're going to want to see more of this stuff. All right, let's get into these. Okay, so this one is Dominic industry base black and I got to admit for years I did not use a black ink I just didn't I, I thought black ink's boring why would I use it I have a zillion other colors I have like 70 pens and not one black ink uh, but then I got a couple of inks including dominant industry base black and I went oh no I really like black inks again so this one as you can see is just so dark and so shiny like it's just kind of a joy to write with this one because of how it looks on the page. Now, uh, this one did not smear after the fact. This smeared when it was still wet. It doesn't It doesn't smear now. It's totally fine. But uh, it does have that kind of like shiny, sheeny, just beautiful black character and not a terribly expensive ink. Here it is from uh, a Waterman Kareen stub, which... <laughs> Of course, I also smeared that one. I was just not patient enough when I was doing this sample, but really nice black ink there, Dominant Industry Base Black. Next up, Cross Black, which was uh, sent to me by a vendor out in London called Pen Heaven. And uh, this is just a super dark, velvety black. You get a little bit of a shine here, but not much. You're not really going to see that from this ink. It's just like... It's just dark. It's just dark and velvety and kind of just a delicious black ink. And I really like this one. I think it punches out of its weight class for sure. And then a friend of mine, Greg, said, hey, Mike, have you tried Sailor Black? And I'm like, I don't know, maybe, but not for a long time. Is it good, though? And he said, yeah, I've got a partial bottle. I'll sell it to you. And I said, OK, let's do it. And so I got this Sailor Black. And let me tell you, this black is great. It's shiny, not as shiny as Dominant Industry, but the flow on this thing is great. It looks great on the page. It's real nice. So check out Sailor Black, just regular old Sailor black comes you know and it just says sailor on it. it's not like gentle or anything it's just like sailor black great stuff sailor black all right here we have uh monteverde's smoke noir this whole noir series is a set of off black inks and this one is one of the standouts to me smoke noir is uh has like these crazy waterproof properties to it that aren't advertised but man it really sticks to paper super well and uh not to mention it looks super good like look at that color like it's just kind of it almost shines silver back at you. I don't think it's a sheen. I think that's just what this ink does. I don't know how it does it, but it is gorgeous. It flows really well. Uh, great little, uh, great little bottle of ink. Check out Monteverde's Smoke Noir. And then last up, we have Laban Athena Gray, which has been living in a shown Smoltem pen for me for at least a year uh, now. I don't remember exactly when I got this one in 2022, but like a year or so. I just keep re eyedroppering that pen with this ink. Now, it says Laban Athena Gray, but this is a black ink for my money. It's just, it's a black ink. It's not gray. It's way too dark a gray to be black, but uh, it's it's real good. I was kind of disappointed because I really was expecting more of a gray. Uh, but man, this this is a great black ink and it's one that I just kind of keep using. So check out La Bonathena Gray. All right. Now for the honorable mentions, I got to tell you, these are not honorable mentions because they are bad inks. Um, certainly not. They're in the top five ish, but they are kind of situational. So let's start out here with um, this one. This is Aurora Black, which is one of the sort of quintessential, very black inks. It is a really good ink. It's a classic but it is a very wet ink. And so in a lot of pens, this is going to be too much flow. If you have, uh, you put this in a Pelican, it's just going to be a fire hose, right? But the thing that I really like this ink for is that it looks beautiful on the page and it is great for diagnosing uh, nib problems. So if you have a nib, which has been a problem, it feels like, ah, this nib sucks. It's too dry. It won't write, yada, yada. I put this ink in and it wouldn't work. Throw some Aurora Black in that ink. Uh, and <laughs> sorry. So throw some Aurora Black in that pen. And if it doesn't write with Aurora Black, it doesn't write. Uh, that's just that's just facts. Uh, it's just hard facts. If it doesn't write with Aurora Black in there, you need to get that ink fixed. It is broken. Uh, but um, 
if it's a nib that works aurora black will rock in that nib all right and next up are these two and i, I put both of them in here because these are kind of these are so similar that uh people go like oh i like either this one or that one most people don't like both it's just kind of we pick sides i don't know it's an ink thing but uh sailor's kiwaguro and platinum's carbon black are both pigmented inks they are light fast they are water fast they are really nice inks uh but they are pigmented and so they have a couple of trade-offs i think carbon black is a little bit bleedy for my money uh, if i try to use it on bad paper it does a little bit more bleeding than i want kiwaguro on the ha other hand is kind of the one that i like the best uh i like the i like the shiny like matte color to it uh, a little bit more the trade-off is that if you put it down very heavily as you can see here uh, i smudged that earlier because you can still smudge this even a long time later because that's just a bunch of ink dumped on a page now it won't smear the words up there and i haven't had a smeary problem with this from a pen but in the swatch it does smear so that's the thing to be aware of if you're gonna be just dumping ink on a page is that like pigmented inks can do that sometimes because the pigment won't always soak in it'll just sit on top so uh this ink though is water very very water resistant if not proof and light fast and all that jazz really cool inks but just you know some things to be aware of also some people will say like i don't want to use a pigment ink because it'll stain i have that has not been my experience other people will say you have to clean it out every couple of weeks or a month or whatever or it'll clog up that has also not been my experience i left kiwaguro in a uh a transparent um piston and fill pen a demonstrator for years in a fine nib i just refilled it when it got empty and that was it i never had a problem with it it never stopped up it never stained nothing so i'm i mean i'm not afraid to use pigmented inks and pens and this one I, i've never been afraid of because it just didn't stain a, a crystal clear demonstrator for for years so there you go now that's uh that's five great black inks and then three really good but kind of situational black inks here for you to try out check out the links in the description leave me a comment tell me what your favorite black ink is hit that like button if you liked it subscribe if you haven't already and uh tell a friend uh you'll see me in another video soon till later peace out